Privileged identity management for resources is a fairly new feature. Um, I think it's still in preview. What it lets you do is uh, you can target roles at subscriptions, resource groups, or even down to an individual VM. So if you've got a user perhaps that normally has fairly low privilege role for their day-to-day -day work and they get asked to add a, add a nick to an existing VM, you can create what they call an eligible role for that user that gives them the privileges they need and you can target it at a particular VM or a resource group that contains the VM knowing that that's all they can actually get to that, you know, they can't cause too much damage elsewhere as if you maybe given them access to a, a complete subscription now these eligible roles can be activated by the user just from the portal you can set the activation to be fully automatic so they request it and they automatically get uh, that role was signed to them for a predetermined period of time uh, anywhere from uh, one hour to three days so you know that if the user requests it and gets it they've only got a certain amount of time where that is uh, enabled obviously they once it's once it's reaches the end of its time they can there's nothing stopping them from asking again but all these uh, interactions get logged and audited so as long as you're running a, a weekly or fortnightly maybe a review report you can see everything that's been going on who's been requesting what and why um, could be that the user in question actually needs a higher privilege role assigned permanently but the the reports will actually help you make those decisions based on the usage that you can see from them um, if the request doesn't want to be automatically approved then there's a manual approval process so this user again might request access to a role but the line manager needs to see that and authorize that first that can be ha that can happen via emails and alerts and that's quite useful um, you can also configure the uh, the privilege uplift if, if you like to the eligible roles to require MFA multi-factor authentication so just adds another layer of security just to ensure that it is the user in question that is actually uh, requesting the authorization uplift. Um, not aware of any downsides to this. Uh, the costs involve um, uh, would be a, a P2 license for everybody that benefits from PIM. So that would be people that administer the the privilege of management and also the users that are making use of that. Uh, but not aware of any other downsides to the to the product.